the camera literally melts during rocket launch. Veteran NASA photographer Billing Galls lost one of his cameras in a freak accident earlier this month. Having been assigned the task of photographing a Falcon 9 rocket launch at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California on May 22, Ingalls had set up his cameras as he'd done dozens of times before. As the rocket careened into the sky however, this particular camera, which was ironically furthest from the launch pad, got caught in a grass fire that had been sparked by the heat of the launch. Images showing the charred remains of the camera soon went viral on social media. I had six remotes, two outside the launch pad safety perimeter and four inside, said Ingalls. Unfortunately, the launch started a grass fire that toasted one of the cameras outside the perimeter. A slideshow showing the fire that ultimately destroyed the camera can be viewed below. The story began when the U.S. Air Force Base in Vandenberg May 22 launched German Gazefo. However, the camera, which was supposed to take pictures and show people any rocket, strangely completely melted. People immediately decided that the agency is hiding something, and the rocket is somehow connected with UFOs and communication with the Special Services aliens. Now NASA explained this mysterious rocket launch. It turned out that this is not a conspiracy theory, but simply flaws in the security system. The report states that the veteran photographer Billing Galls, who works at NASA for about 30 years, wanted to take pictures and video. According to Ingalls, he had six remotes, two outside the security perimeter, and four inside. Unfortunately, during the launch, the grass caught fire which completely burned one of the cameras on the street. The device stood just 400 meters from the rocket. Inglass went to get the camera after the fire, but there was already a group of firefighters. The photographer's surprise was not the limit when he found an intact memory card. However, as for the camera and equipment, it is likely to be sent to NASA headquarters in Washington. According to Inglass, this mistake will not stop him on his way. Soon he will go to Kazakhstan to photograph the landing of the ISS crew there on June 3.